This beautiful Patriot Blue truck is a 2021 Ram 1500 Laramie Crew Cab with the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine with e-torque and eight speed automatic transmission. Hey folks, it's Preston Flanagan. In this video, I'm going to show you the standard features of the Laramie trim package with the level one equipment group added to it. We're gonna compare that to a highly equipped Lone Star trim level package. Uh, as well as we're going to look at the equipment that comes with the Southwest Edition package. And if you stick around to the end, we're going to I'm going to show you how the Laramie Level 1 and Level 2 equipment groups compare uh, and the options that are only available when your truck is equipped with the Level 2 equipment group. Let's get started. First, when you're approaching the truck, uh, when you're approaching the truck from, from the outside, you're going to see that it has remote start on the vehicle. That is standard. It's relatively new for the Laramie package to have remote start standard. Remote start is available on the Lone Star, but one thing that is not available is the passive entry where you can grab the back of the handle, it unlocks the door, and then when you get out, press the little square and it'll lock the door. That is a standard feature on the Laramie trim package. The Laramie trim package is going to have standard on it, leather trimmed eight-way power seat for both the driver and the passenger. Those seats will be heated and ventilated. You also have a heated steering wheel. You also have memory features that are going to be used with the seats, with your outside mirrors, and with your radio presets, as well as the power adjustable pedals. Memory features are not available currently on the Lone Star trim package. Also standard is the dual zone automatic temperature control for your air conditioner. The Lone Star trim package is not going to have available at all the leather seats from the factory, the memory seats, the ventilated seats, and the memory settings. For the radio on the Laramie trim package, the, the Uconnect 4 with the 8.4 inch display is the standard radio. A new standard feature on the 2021 Laramie half ton trim package is full speed forward collision warning plus. Previously that was a that was an available option. Now it is standard. Full speed collision warning plus helps to reduce the myth, helps to reduce the risk of you running into somebody in front of you uh, by applying brake pressure and giving you a warning uh, if it senses you're approaching too fast. This truck does have that e-torque mild hybrid system equipped with it. The e-torque system is pretty easily identified now. You have the badge on the hood that says e-torque underneath it, but whenever you lift up the hood, you'll see this motor generator unit that's used in the engine start-stop functions. The benefit of having the e-torque system on your truck is that on your initial launch, or uh, if you're accelerating, uh, quick acceleration whenever you're driving, there is the capability of having an additional 130 pound-feet of torque available for you. It doesn't raise the overall torque capabilities of the truck, but you do have that additional 130 pound-feet of torque that's available uh, on that initial launch or with acceleration. The e-torque does also give you this engine start-stop system, which you can turn off every time you get into the vehicle. Uh, it is not something that you can disable permanently. And when the light is lit up, it is off. The Laramie Level 1 Equipment Group gives you the auto dimming high beams, which you can access in the settings screen by going to the lights and then auto dim high beams and make sure that the check mark is turned on. And then to enable or disable the system, all you got to do is push your uh, light switch back and the automatic high beams will be enabled, pull it towards you and it disables that. You also get blind spot monitoring and rear cross path detection. You can adjust the settings by, again, going to the settings menu. On this 12-inch screen, it's in the safety and driving assistance there. Uh, and then you would go to blind spot alert, and you can adjust, you can turn the blind spot monitoring off. You can have it set just to lights or set to lights and chime, and uh, that will beep at you whenever you have the lights and chime set up. You'll, you'll hear a chime whenever you turn your turn signal on and somebody's in your blind spot. Then it also has this, uh, where it automatically detects the length of any trailer that you have back there. Uh, and you can set it to auto detect or just automatically set it to the max length of 39 and a half feet. You also get the front and rear park assist. These switches, these switches will turn it off whenever you press them and the light is illuminated. And then back into the settings screen here, when we go to uh, the safety and driving assistance, we go to park assist and I can adjust the volume 
of each of those. And if you'll notice, there is a different tone between the front and the rear. The, this rear park sense braking assist feature, um, whenever you're backing up, if, if you're going too fast and thinks you're gonna hit something, when this is turned on, it's gonna stop you. And it's a jolt uh, when it stops you. So if you don't like that feature, then just press the off button whenever you're in here. The next feature that is on this Laramie Level 1 is rain sensitive windshield wipers. So go to the settings again, into the mirrors and wipers screen, and then press wipers and then you can turn those on and for the for that to work then you have to come over here to your windshield wiper and turn the knob and set it on one of the intermittent settings text rain um, it, it'll come on automatically the next feature is you have the power tailgate release and I can press the button two times on the key fob or I can press the power tailgate release button up here on the center stack and it'll drop that tailgate for me. And then the last feature for the Laramie Level 1 equipment group is the is on the rear seats. It, it gives you the reclining rear seats and that is one of my absolute favorite features on these new trucks. I wish it was available on the Lone Star uh, trim package uh, as well as on the Laramie, but in order to get it, you gotta be on that Laramie Level 1 or higher trim package. It's pretty awesome, great for nap time of other options that this truck is specifically equipped with is it does have the all-weather floor mats from Mopar which I think are great heavy duty they're form fitting uh, and, and do a great job of protecting the, the carpet. It also has the 22 inch wheels on there. I personally am not a fan of the 22 inch wheels because it, it's just a to me it's a rougher ride than uh, the 20s are uh, or even the 18s. And now, the, and now the Southwest Edition package. That Southwest Edition package, it is specific to Texas and some of the states surrounding it. Um, it. It is a great value package. On the Southwest Edition package, you get the body color uh, front and rear bumpers. You have a body, a body color grill with the RAM letters in chrome on it. So you do keep a little bit of a chrome look. It's not a, it's not a lot, but a little bit of chrome on this. It's also equipped with chrome tow hooks. Now this is where we start seeing some of the really cool features uh, from here. When you open the door, you'll see power running boards. These do drop down lower than the fixed running boards, and I think it makes it extremely easy for anybody to get in and out of the truck. And as you get in the truck, it, it, you're gonna see it has the huge dual pane panoramic sunroof that goes over the front row and second row seats. You've got the Uconnect 12 inch display. And then you can also see it's got the trailer brake control down here. Now all these options, if you, if you order them individually as line items, then you would be looking at well over $5,000 worth of equipment that, uh, that you'd be charged for. In this Southwest edition package, you're, you're currently paying less than $2,800 for all of that equipment. It's an awesome, awesome value. So if you're looking at the Laramie trim package and you're trying to decide which equipment group you want between the level one and the level two equipment group or the Southwest edition, whatever it is. So equipment that comes with the level two equipment group is gonna be your, your second row seats are gonna be heated. Uh, and then it also comes with the Harman Kardon 19 speaker sound system. Unless you have the level two equipment group, you can't get the night edition appearance package. And then the two big, the two big equipment groups that uh, you have to have the level two equipment group for are are the advanced safety group, which gives you adaptive cruise control, lane, lane keep assist, uh, the, par parallel, the parallel and perpendicular parking, the surround view 360 camera, and the technology group. The technology group gives you a heads up display as you're driving, which is new for 2021. Uh, and it also gives you a digital rear view mirror. If you want a little more information about the technology group, uh, here's, a, here's a link to a video that I made on it recently. If you found some value in this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button for, uh, for notifications. All right, folks, that's it. That's everything about this Laramie uh, truck with the equipment groups, the Southwest Edition package and the Level 1 equipment group. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you out. I look forward to assisting you. Thanks. Have a great day.